Hey guys, for those of you who didn't see my copperhead video, um, I ask you to check it out after this video because I'm going to show you the difference. You can kind of compare the copperhead to this corn snake right here. So um, just, just check it out. If you, in the copperhead video, I go over how a copperhead looks like it has Hershey's Kisses down its side. Well, this right here is a corn snake, or what I refer to as a corn snake. See, as you can see, they're pretty docile creatures. But if you look at his tail, you see his tail shaking. He'll get in those leaves and, and they'll do that to, to make people think that they're, they're a rattlesnake. Isn't it pretty? It's a beautiful snake. But people, people a lot of times think that they're copperheads because of the brown, the brown on the back right there. And he's not, he's not wanting to hurt me. He's wanting to get away from me. But yeah, if you see that, that's not a copperhead. A copperhead, when viewed from above, it's gonna, it's gonna look like a, uh, a brown chocolate hourglass. But easiest way for a copperhead, from the side, it looks like Hershey's Kiss has poured down its body. Just remember that, and maybe it'll keep you from getting panicked, or maybe it'll keep you from killing a, a completely harmless snake over nothing. So. About to go pick up a probably a rat snake. I'll film that too, so stick around. Guys, we got a beautiful king snake. It wasn't a rat snake. It was a king snake. I'm gonna try to let you get a good close look at it. how pretty that thing is. We'll follow him for a minute. It's crazy how these things can just glide over the... It's just... I don't know what it is about snakes. I mean, from a... from a human perspective, I mean, it's almost... They're almost completely unrelatable. They, I mean, like with dogs and stuff, I mean, you can kind of sense emotion through the way they furrow their brow and everything, but I don't know. Reptiles are strange, but they're very intriguing to me. I love catching snakes, but maybe I'll get some more captures on film. Um, I don't want the YouTube channel just to be about metal detecting. I mean, that, that gets old after a while, so I'm just going to take the camera with me on everything I do and let me know what you like and let me know what you don't like.